So we just took the ferry from Santorini and now we are on our second island of Milos, which it's got to be the most beautiful thing. <laughs> We're about to get on the ferry and it looks like we're gonna have a grand time. <laughs> These Grecian ferries are known for making people not feel too good, so. And I'm the like, I'm the type of person that gets car sick like driving my own car on a regular road. So like, this is going to be bad. It does appear to be rocking quite a bit though. This is not good guys, this is bad, very bad. Hopefully we at least have a window seat, but um, who knows. Alright, so, so far it's not too bad. I'm not really feeling any seasickness, which is pretty good, but um, pretty crazy because we had to kind of trade seats because we weren't sitting together. I think they just give everyone a random ticket number, so. It doesn't really work for traveling with people. Hmm. So supposedly you can order some food and stuff. They have snacks in the bar, so we're gonna go see if we can get a little something to eat. I just got the most delicious looking sugar donut and they even warmed it up for me, so definitely really excited. Oh, oh that's, that's hot. I'm not feeling sick, just kind of airplane motion, nothing crazy, so hopefully it stays like this the rest of the way. Thank you. Vlog, everybody's advice says that they're literally the worst thing ever and so we both went into that <laughs> dreading the worst and it was literally the most chill thing ever like as much turbulence as like a typical plane ride and it wasn't like sway like a boat usually does so we just took the ferry from Santorini and now we are on our second island of Milos which you can already tell is my favorite island by far. Holy cow, but also you guys are Airbnb. Wow. So they just gave us a little tour and now it's your turn. So the Airbnb host actually picked us up from the port and drove us all the way here with our luggage, which was really nice. And they are just the sweetest old couple ever. Like I want them to be my grandparents. Um, and the way they have this set up is so cute. We have a beautiful kitchen and a free bottle of wine. Semi-sweet rosé wine. We don't drink wine. But this location is why we picked it. And the bed is situated to look over the water. Like what? We have the corner unit of this little row of fishermen's village and we have the cliffs and the water and the tourist boats going by and all we have to do is walk down these steps and our feet are in the sand <laughs> morning from Milos. Today we are going to go check out all the beaches on the north side of the island. Uh, most famously being one uh, Serkaniko beach. Um, it's supposed to be really special and kind of look like the moon because it's like white volcanic rock. Uh, and we're going to check out a few other beaches along the way. Some that are more private and less known about. We are getting our stuff together to jump on the ATV and head to our first beach. We've just reached our first stop of the day. It's called Hapafragas. It's this really narrow section of beach. Uh, Reading about it ahead of time, some people said you might have to trespass to get there. We see a ton of people going, kind of cutting through this land right here. So we're gonna check it out and see 
if it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of mystery with this one, but we will see if it's any cool. Everyone recommends going there though, and so I've seen a million pictures of it, so it's probably okay. Right, so here it is. Um, Apparently there's like a little sign that says it's dangerous and you just got to go around that. So we'll check it out for ourselves. Looks pretty good. That's really cool. Warning. Dangerous cliff. You can see there's a little bit of an unprotected edge going down here, but nothing crazy. See, it's really not too bad, but wow, that's amazing. Slowly but surely, we're making our way down. There's a few people over here already. Oh. And this will be our spot. Holly just said this is the bathroom. It's not going to be our spot then. So it's a little bit gray of a day today, especially compared to yesterday. Yesterday was beautiful and so warm. So I think we're going to stop at a few other beaches just to kind of get the lay of the land. And that being said, it's really beautiful here. So the weather is still just not ideal for swimming, just kind of overcast and cold and windy. A little cold, a little windy. And so we actually decided to move a few things around. So instead of going to the catacombs tomorrow, we're going to go see some catacombs now since you don't need good weather for that. For Euro per person? Okay. So we just got out of the catacombs and it was a really short tour, like maybe 10 minutes. Um, but that's mostly just because it's a small area that you can actually go into. Um, but it was really neat. So it was built by like early Christian church here on Milos, uh, somewhere around like 1 AD. And it was in use for the next like, till 6 AD, I think. Um, yeah, it was, it was neat. Uh, we would have preferred if we could have walked around ourselves instead of with the guide. And they didn't want us videoing in there, so we kind of just snuck a few things that we'll, we'll insert here, but we weren't able to talk or record the guide. Um, but really neat to see, and there's some like natural inscriptions uh, on the walls that are still left over. Um, so anyways, finished up with that, and we just came up the road here in Placa, and we found a cute little restaurant that we're gonna grab some lunch at. This is our first appetizer, the cheese pies. Uh, he let us know that this is the only thing really on the menu that's actually like local to this island. Mmm, it's got like a warm flaky crust and it's filled with cheese in the middle. Next, I got fried zucchini, super good with some tzatziki sauce, and then this, which is like 15 characters long and there's no way I'm gonna pronounce it, but he really recommended it. It's like a fried ball, something in the inside that's covered in watermelon juice. <laughs> Let's try. Tobacco. Whoa. Unlike anything I've had before, but I like it. Luke tries to feed every cat that we find. I try to stop him, but. This is just who he is. So today the weather looks a little bit better, so we're gonna try head over to Saraknikos before we rent a boat later on and explore some beaches that you can only access by boat. Should be really fun. We're doing a half day boat tour, uh, but it's private, so we don't have a captain, similar to what we did in Santorini. Um, and our goal is to go all the way around to the south side. There's these white cliffs. It's called Kleptico. It's one of the most popular spots in the whole island is Kleptico and Saracanico, so we're going to try and hit both today. This is Saracanico, which is the most popular, like, famous spot in all of Milos. There's definitely a ton of people here. Uh, but for good reason. So this whole beach is like white 
I think it's lava rock, which I've never seen white lava rock before, so I actually don't know how that happens. Maybe it starts out black and then it changes color, I don't know. If you know the answer, drop it in the comments because I'd like to know how white lava rock happens. Okay, so we have found a spot to put out our towels. Most people are just tanning um, because one, the water's super cold and two, it's really choppy. Those are all tour boats, that means we're at Plastico. This water looks incredibly clear. Uh, I know it's gonna be cold, but I'm gonna try and get in. Is it cold? <laughs> Thank you. 